What's good y'all, it's Lushi and today I'm gonna break down a dark ethnic sample in the style of Southside or Pyrex Whippa. So here's the FOP, we got five sounds, all this from Contact, so I'm gonna walk you through each of the patterns, uh, show you the MIDI and explain my thought process behind it show you all the banks I used and also all the presets. So here's the first melody, it is from Contact, it is from the factory library and I chose the music box which is under the metallophones section. So here's what the pattern sounds like without any effects on it. So I'm gonna get rid of this section right here and uh, these notes right here and also this right here So the loop is in a sharp minor So I start off at the root note right here at a sharp and built the a sharp minor chord like this After I had the a sharp minor chord down I moved the notes to the side like this so it goes like up and then down uh, And after that I add the a sharp minor one uh, one octave down and also one octave up right here And for the last part of the first bar, I went down five semitones uh, from the A sharp. So one, two, three, four, five. And I duplicated this note up one octave and also right here. So these three notes right here are the same note. So after I had this little melody down, I just control beat it all over here. And then for the next eight bars as well, and I pitched it up one octave. After that, I just uh, pressed Alt S strum the notes a little bit something like this and for the effects on the music box i started off with an eq taking out the low end adding cymatics lotus and after that i eq'd even more of the low ends so here's what the melody sounds like with the effects on So for the next melody, I went to the Noir Bank in Contact and chose the Dark preset. So all I did was I just followed the root note of the original melody. The note plays for two bars and then for two bars again. But at the end of the last bar, I did this little thing right here. But here's what it sounds like without any effects on it. So for the effects, I start off with the Mangled Verb. Uh, Captain Crunchy preset, even more reverb, but this time I went with Valhalla Vintage. And then I added an EQ, took out some of the highs and some of the lows. And lastly I went to Effect Tricks. I chose the 1 8 tempo and I went with the reverse effect and I applied it right here. So I'm gonna show you what it sounds like with the reverbs and the reverse effect applied right here. And for the third melody, I went to Oliver Arnold's Composer Toolkit, also in contact, and I chose the Sonar Rhodes preset. So here's what it sounds like. And for the fourth melody, I went to Sign Harps in contact. I chose the default preset. So here's what it sounds like without any effects on it. So I start off by just making these chords right here, the A sharp and the F note. So after I had these uh, chords down at every other bar, I just added some notes in between, like this. And I strum this, or not str I made a roll out of this note like this, turn down the velocity a little bit, and then I just... So these F notes right here, I made them because uh, in the original melody, Right here, we're going from A sharp to F minor, so that's why I used the F note right here and right here. But for the effects on the harp, I started off with a decapitator. I went with the beefy G2 preset and turned down the drive a little bit. And then I added a Valhalla vintage verb. After that, I added a Lotus from Cymatics. I went with the 
same preset as the original like the first melody and then finally eq taking out the low end and boosting some of the high mids so here's what the melody sounds like with the effects applied and for the last pattern i was using some phrases from Sony score ethnic string phrases bank i went to this uh, minor bank right here and tuned it to a sharp so here's what the phrases that i picked sounds like and for the effects i start off with an eq taking out the low end and some of the highs as well and after that i added a reverb and here's what the phrases sounds like with the effects on So after arranging the loop and rendering it out, I routed it to the mixer channel and added some RC20. Uh, I used the vinyl 2 preset and turned down the magnitude to like 30, 33%. So here's what the final loop sounds like. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, I'm gonna catch you on the next one, peace.